we need to trim the length of the rocket to conform to the rules of the FAI contest. Um, the rules state that the rocket should be 500 millimeters, and that works out to be 19.68 inches. Uh, 0.68 is real close to 5 eighths of an inch. It's just a hairline over that. So on your rocket, take something and press the nose of again, nose cone against it so that it doesn't move on you. And then move it over here so you can see what I'm doing. So now that my, my ruler and the rocket are the same length, and then I'm going to take a pencil and mark it. So I'm, I got 18 inches here. So I'm 18 inches right at the the end of the yellow. So then I need need to go another one and a little over five eighths of an inch. I'm trying to do this upside down and it's a little hard. So there's five eighths of an inch right there. So I am really close. I am just a smidge over. And to trim it off, um, you can use the Estes rings, which are cutting guides. Um, there's a two-part system. You slide it on, and you slide the other one on, and then you bring them together. And when you do, it clamps down on the tube so that it doesn't move. Um, if you don't have one of those in the kit, there's a little blue centering ring, an extra centering ring. And you can slide that over the end of the tube and sometimes it's got a little burr inside. And you either have to sand it out or kind of smoosh it down so that it will go over and then find your line. Okay, my line is right there. And we need to kind of lock that in position and I'll just use some tape to do that just to keep it from moving when we're cutting. I'm gonna take my knife around the tube so we get the right length. Okay, and if there's a little bit extra, just take some sandpaper and a sanding block and you can sand that off. the right length. Now we want to stick a rocket motor in it to balance it so that we get our launch lug in the right spot if you're putting a launch lug on. If you're flying it out of a tower, leave the launch lug off. And this is a fresh motor that has never been flown because we want to get the weight of the rocket because we want to find the balance point because you want to put the engine block as close to the balance point of the rocket as possible. So I'm just probably about a half, one finger's width away from the, from the yellow. So that's where I want to put my launch lug. So there it is, my angle. And I want to go between two fins. And I'm using a pencil for this. And the back end of the launch lug wants to go right there. I'm going to use thick CA glue to glue it in place. So here's my launch lug. Put some glue on there. Make sure that it's aligned straight. And I'm going to hit it with some super glue, uh, accelerator. And I'll just wipe all that off. Okay, so there's your launch lug. It's ready to go. The rocket is almost ready to fly. Um, you can paint this rocket, and, and I would suggest that you do. Um, I paint mine a bright orange. You don't have to paint yours that same color, whatever color works for you. Paint adds weight, so you can also use uh, permanent markers to give some of the rocket some color. Um, the blades can be hard to see in the air, 
um, because the rocket's going to go pretty high. So um, another trick that I do is I can you can take some magic marker, a dark color like a blue or a black, and color the bottoms so that when it's in the sky there's some contrast so you can see it spinning. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I want to say about this rocket? If you have any questions, you know, feel free to contact us at Apogee Components. Um, our website has our contact form, so it's www.apogeerockets.com. Um, our next video, I'll show you a launch of a rocket. Um, it flies great. I got probably close to a minute on an A motor, and you want to use an A34T. That's the standard one for all FAI competition, uh, at least here in the United States. Once you get overseas, uh, the motors are different. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll talk to you later, and thanks again for buying the Apogee kit. I know you're going to love it. It's, it's a great rocket. So may the winds be light and the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true and hang in the air forever. Ready? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, launch. I didn't see it.